Welcome back, everybody. We are back together here with another video. Make sure you guys hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel if this is your first time here. With that being said, we're going to be talking a little bit of Star Wars here. And you guys know I'm a huge Star Wars fan. Uh, my wife, how would you describe your Star Wars fandom? I would say it's great. I uh, like the Josh Lucas, you know, Star Wars. What I mean is, are you a super fan or are you just kind of like a passive fan? I think you're more uh, passive. Yeah, passive because, um, I mean, I watched like the Josh Lucas, all the film. Yeah. But not the anime. And so, and of course, like I haven't read any of the Star Wars books. So. Well, Clone Wars is great. Yeah, but Clone Wars is really, really good. It just show. when I watch it, I have to ask you, you know, yeah. like what is the background? She, she, she's not into it the way I am. I grew up watching the original uh, Star Wars stuff, the original trilogy, the prequels. You didn't start watching it until we got together, right? Yeah, so, so I don't fully know. Like she don't know the ins and outs of everything. Yeah, so whatever. You know, we watch like the the Clone yeah. War and stuff. I have to ask you stuff, you know. Yeah, you were asking me about the Dark Saber today because you didn't really understand the Dark yeah. Saber. So, so, so I'm definitely more passionate about Star Wars, the George Lucas stuff, and mainly that's what we're going to be focusing on here anyway. Because there's a new poll that has come out. Of course, you know, I always classify Star Wars as George Lucas Star Wars, and then you have Disney Star Wars. There's a reason why I should call it Disney Star Wars, because to me, it is not Star Wars. It's not George Lucas Star Wars. Has there been some good things? Yeah, I would say The Mandalorian, the TV show is good. Season three uh, got some problems. I'll just put it like that. Season three. They delivered on that. Rogue One, good movie. But pretty much everything else has been trash. Mm -hmm. It's been tried. It's a huge drop down from what George Lucas actually wanted. And I foresaw what was coming when uh, The Force Awakens came out. Of course, it made like $2 billion, but that was the first uh, Star Wars movie in like uh, 10 years. I walked out the movie. You know what I said to myself? What? I was like, I don't think I like this movie. And I was probably one of the only people that was actually saying that. Now, since the other two movies came out, people are saying, whoa. Yeah, uh, this trilogy, not that good. What do you think of the uh, the sequels? The sequel Wait, trilogies, the, the yeah, the Disney? Force Away, yeah, the Force Awakens, uh, the Last Jedi. And I Lost don't Skywalker. like any of those, I don't even like Rowan. Oh, uh, well, when it comes to the sequels, it's definitely a hot mess. I actually like Rogue One, the last 45 minutes of Rogue One is really, really good. They got something right for a change with that. But it actually took the director getting fired and somebody else coming in. Tony, mm -hmm. Tony Gilroy. But look at this. New poll finds 31 percent of Americans believe Disney Star Wars films are worse than the originals. And I saw the number. I was like, 31 percent. That's it. Now, this seems to be kind of a loaded question. What do they mean by originals? Are they talking about everything pre-Disney? Because it doesn't say original trilogy. It just says originals. Well, I don't know. Do you think it's just like original is like the Josh Lucas Star Wars? That is, it's kind of... I don't know exactly because even the poll, the poll right here, it just says worse than original Star Wars movies. I well, wish they would have put like original trilogy. Well, when you say... Well, for me, original, it means like because it was Josh Lucas who created Star Wars. Right, so right. It will be the original. Yeah. Um, but it says here this was a Rasmussen poll. The poll, which was uh, surveyed, which surveyed on uh, 1,069 Americans between March 19th and 21st, 2023, found that 31 percent of Americans believe Disney Star Wars movies are worse than the originals. It should be way higher than that. I thought it would be. I mean, Me too. I'm just wondering, like, is this percentage just in 
the Americans yeah, yeah, yeah. in America yeah, yeah, or yeah, yeah, around the world? No, no, it's just yeah. America. Okay. It says America right there. Only 22% of Americans believe the Disney films are better than originals. 22%, that number seems high to me right there. It also found that 25% believe the films are of equal standing <laughs> to each other while a significant uh, 22% responded not sure. Mm. I mean, these people must have never really been Star Wars fans. It must be. I mean, the see the age group was is eighteen to thirty nine. Yeah, right here. Yeah, it actually does say here. It says looking at the demographic breakdown, uh, Mitchell reveals forty four percent of those ages eighteen to thirty nine believe Disney Star Wars films are better than the originals. So when the Disney stuff came out. Those 18 year olds were, um, what is this, 2023? Okay, about, let's say about 10 years ago, because believe it or not, The Force Awakens came out in 2014, I believe. So they were like nine year olds. And they probably just first started watching Star Wars then. So maybe they're a huge percentage of this. You know, those 18 year olds now, 20 years old, they were like nine, 10 years old then. Or maybe they never watched George Lucas. They, ne they probably never did. They probably never did. All right. 24% um, of them believe they are worse. It should be way higher than that. Now, there's another ad here popping up in the way here. But it says, I got to refresh this um, here. I hate it when the ads get over the words. It really just irritates me. Oh, um, okay. Right here. Go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, go ahead. Sorry. Okay. In contrast, 40% of those uh, between ages 40 to 64 uh, believe Disney Star Wars films are worse to only 12% with that age range believe they are better. So the older you get, the more critical of the Disney stuff you're going to be. Uh, it says finally, 45 percent of Americans believe the age of 65 above the age of 65 say they are not sure Disney Star Wars films are better than the originals. Woo. Wow. Now, here is the kicker right here by gender. Looking at the gender breakdown via gender, looking at the breakdown via gender, 47 percent of men under the age of 40 said Disney Star Wars films are. Better than the originals. However, 37 percent of men over 40 said the Disney Star Wars films are worse. I mean, th these numbers overall, it should be way worse yeah. than this. Well, I was thinking that maybe, you know, regardless of like the age gap, I think is like the people who watch Star Wars and really understand it, or not. See, I know? think I think Disney because you know, like me. I mean, like I don't grow up, you know, with Star Wars, even though I, you know, live and work in America for quite long until I met you. So yeah, you know, I guess it. Don't you think it's because maybe like some people, even at early age, they might not be interested in Star Wars or they just never really watch it? Or Yeah, something know. something's telling me because they don't even ask this question, I believe. Did you actually watch the originals? Because I, yeah. I believe that the Disney Star Wars fans, the passionate ones mm -hmm. that like it, they were never fans of the original stuff. That's what I'm thinking. So I don't know how many people actually saw George Lucas Star Wars before mm -hmm. the Disney Star Wars movies came out. Because the people that seem to be pushing Disney Star Wars stuff don't seem to be actual real Star Wars fans. They, they even break this down by a political party. Well, I just wonder what kind of question they ask. That's, you know. I mean, it's kind of... It's not really going into much detail here. Only thing we're getting is 
all the new Star Wars movies made by Disney better or worse than the original Star Wars movies. And I'm wondering, what do they mean by the original Star Wars movies? Are they talking about the six movies from George Lucas? Are they talking about just the first three? So I don't know. But if they're talking about the first three, it's definitely a bit no. There's no way. You cannot tell me that Force Awakens, Last Jedi, Rise of Skywalker are equal or better than Star Wars, Empire Strikes Back or Return of Jedi. You cannot tell me that those movies are on equal footing with the original trilogy because it's not even close. It's not even close. No, but I mean, some people, you know, watching movies, you know, more subjective. Yeah. Know? Yeah. So it really depends, I guess. And, you know. Interesting here. 34% of Republicans believe the Disney films are worse. Now, 30% of Democrats believe Disney films are better, while 19% of Democrats believe they are worse. So a larger percentage of Republicans feel the Disney stuff is worse, which is not surprising right there, considering that Disney Star Wars panders to a lot of woke people that are usually like going to be like on the far left. So independence, 39 percent say Disney's uh, Star Wars stuff is uh, worse. Only 14 percent of independents thought Disney's uh, films were better. Um, I don't know. I mean, do you say. Um, what's its name? Who? <laughs> I'm sorry. The the guy who played uh, Luke Skywalker. Mark Hamill. Yeah, he's a Democrat, right? Oh, yeah, definitely, definitely. But he doesn't like the... No, he does not like the way his character was treated. Yeah. But he he's a far-left Democrat, but he didn't like what they did to his character. But Disney did that to his character so they can pander to the woke feminists out there. Even Mark Hamill knew that what was going on with his character was a disaster. Actually, Lucasfilm completely disrespected Mark Hamill as Luke Skywalker. He wasn't in the first movie. Mm -hmm. He's a quitter in the second one. And then he was like in two scenes in the last one. But these are the kind of people that, you know, that if they were run for office, he would vote for these people. Mm -hmm. So something's definitely... um. Wrong, wrong with that. And even in the Obi-Wan show, Star Wars is supposed to be about, um, especially original trilogy, about Luke Skywalker, his family. Mm -hmm. How many lines did, how many words did uh, little Luke say in um, the Obi-Wan show? He said like one sentence. <laughs> and that was like the last episode. Like, oh my goodness. I'm done with this. You, you got anything else to add to this? Because I really don't. Nah. Yeah. Well, that's going to wrap it up, guys. We'll be back on Friday with another video for you guys. Until then, be safe. Goodbye.